you have the success you want, there are so much things out there we can do to increase our success. So I want to teach you guys the four steps of the success cycle. My name is Christos and I hope you enjoy this video. So the first is potential. Potential is that kind of mythical, magical thing behind it all because our potential is almost unlimited. We have this abundant world with the potential of almost anything. I mean, we've been to the moon, we've created flight, we've split atoms. The amount of potential that the human race has, I don't think has a limit, or at least one we've never even come close to yet. And every time we think we do, we blow past it again. So the first is the true potential. And we really don't ever hit our real potential. And this is because we don't take enough action. We get in fear states, we get in negative states, and that all lowers our kind of output, if you will, because we always think less of ourselves. So just know that your potential is way higher than you really think it is. We just have to get ourselves there, and that's the key. So number two is action. This is where we really have to worry about our direction, and we'll talk about in a minute, but our true direction and massive, massive action. Because knowledge is powerful, but it's just potential. It's only going to be worth something if you action on that knowledge. See, there's the, the knowledge plus focused intention and action is what creates skill. And skill, when applied, you become a master over time by honing it. Be knowledge on itself isn't going to do anything. I got, I got lots of knowledge on that shelf, but unless you take action on what you have learned, there's going to be no productivity. So you have to not only take immediate action and focused action, but also in the right direction. That's where the strategies come in. That's where your beliefs come in. And we'll get to that in a minute. The next one is results. The human's very interesting in the fact that uh, there's been a lot of studies with athletes especially where if you imagine yourself taking a basketball shot over and over and over and seeing yourself make that shot you actually get better. Think about that for a second. You actually physically get better when you take that shot if you've imagined it over and over and over again. This is because our bodies are designed in a way that we have really can't tell the difference between imagination and reality. So when we practice something over in our heads and visualize ourselves already achieving it, it's as if it's already happening. We're creating that space within our mind and our body. So when we actually do go out and practice in the real world, it's all we've already are way ahead of where we would have been if we hadn't. Two is it's giving us that that end goal, that map of where we're going. So where we are to where we're going is not enough but the action to get there, right? So we need that direction and then we need that massive action. And then this is where the third, the fourth one comes in. It's the certainty and belief. This is where I think a lot of people kind of trickle down in, in their success because they don't have that certainty, that belief that they will succeed. See, you need a why that's so large that all the problems are dwarfed. And especially if you can grow your why beyond just yourself, beyond just your immediate family and circle, to even bigger. The bigger your why, the more powerful it becomes and the more unstoppable you really truly become. I mean, example, Elon Musk, right? He says, I want to create a world um, a species that is multi-planetary. So if there's a catastrophic event that we won't die as a species. I mean, that's, I mean, he's encompassed our entire world and worlds at that point. So it's super cool, kind of a goal perspective, but you have to imagine the goal, imagine all the details. What would life be like? What is it going to feel like? What are you going to think? Who are you going to impact? And then the downstreams of Fed, who are those people going to impact? And if you can really bring that inside you, that's so powerful. And with that, un, that, that certainty of belief that it's going to happen, that's where the imagination is coming back from the action, 
it's amazing the amount of difference it's going to make. Because without belief, we don't really take massive action. So, and that's kind of where it circles back up to potential. Because the bigger our belief, the bigger our certainty, the more potential we're going to achieve. And then all of that kind of cycles back in because the more action we take, the more certainty we have, the more results we're going to get, which builds certainty and belief, which then goes back to, oh, our potential is actually higher because it's about belief of where your potential is. And we take more action, the more action has more results, and it just kind of cycles through. So in review, so first is your potential. It's always higher than you think, truly. Take action. Focused intention on a goal, a point somewhere in the future that you've predefined, which is results first, right? What is it? Where are you going? What is your end destination? Clear, written, time bound. And then the certainty, being able to have that unshakable belief that you're going to accomplish it. Napoleon Hill talks a lot about that. Um, and if you don't particularly like Napoleon Hill, uh, Wallace D. Waddles is another great source. So I hope this resonates with you. Um, it does for me at least, and I kind of wanted to share that today. If you're struggling with any of these uh, four cycles or wanting to build your why, or if you've identified a limitation within yourself, either a negative belief, a negative feeling, a looping memory, um, or anything that is holding you back, reach out to me. I'd love to work with you. I've opened up a couple sessions. I'm happy to do a free session with you. Otherwise, love you. Have a good night.